Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about my Canon 5D Mark I. Let's discuss. So, my Canon 5D Mark I is the first full frame camera that I bought. Um, all my other cameras, as you know, um, watching the channel, that are um, film cameras. So, the reason why I bought the Mark One is because it was the cheapest full frame uh, digital camera that I could find anywhere. Um, I think I got this for around £200 from a second hand yeah, store. It's very simple to use. Um, the colours that come out of this camera are brilliant. Canon had had a lot of work with Kodak when they were working on this camera. So it definitely has some of those kind of portrait colours coming through. The menu, if I turn it on here, simple on switch. Um, put the menu on. So everything, all the settings for the camera are all on just one handy menu. And I really like this little dial for flicking through as well. Um, there's obviously, there's no live view. A few pictures to took. So there's no live view, so um, when you're taking a picture, it's all through the viewfinder here. Um, there's also, if you zoom in, you can use this little joystick as well to move around the frame, which is great. So another reason I bought um, the full frame digital was because I wanted to try out some of my film lenses. So this is my adapter that takes M42 to EOS and what you'll notice is two things. So the first thing I'll actually show you is there's a little lip here. So for any of your um, M42 lenses that are auto and have that little pin for um, controlling the aperture, um, this is the kind of thing you're looking for. Otherwise, you'll need to use a manual lens, or your, or otherwise, if your lens can only be shot um, in auto, then you'll have to just shoot with your aperture fully open. Another thing about this adapter is you'll see there is an autofocus confirmation chip on it. So what that means is you can actually uh, get a beep confirmation from the camera um, when your picture is in focus. I've heard other people having issues with this not being fully in focus, but the ones I've taken um, with my Helios 44-2 lens and using that feature, um, they've all been fine. I'll throw a few pictures up here. I also got a Canon 50mm 1.8 STM lens as well to put on, um, mainly because, um, actually I should have said um, previously, with those old vintage lenses, um, a few of them, and you'll notice especially with the Russian lenses, um, the back of the lens, um, when you're, it focused to infinity, it can actually, the mirror of the camera um, can hit the back of the lens um, locking up the camera so it could never focus to infinity and um, so that's where this one comes in handy. Also um, just with having kids, um, especially Jake, he's a lot older now, he's three and he's got so much energy trying to catch him running while trying to manually focus the lens it just it. It's possible, but um, it's a lot easier with an autofocus lens. Um, and this lens actually has really nice um, sharp images. Um, at 1.8, the book was actually quite nice, um, for my taste anyway.
So um, overall, I'm really happy. I'm really really happy with the 5D Mark One or 5D Classic, um, which it's called quite a lot. Um, for me, like, is it worth it still in 2021? Yes, definitely. Um, back when it was made, um, it was a professional camera. Um, a lot of weddings were shot on it. Um, so I don't see just because technology has advanced. Yes, there's a lot of features the camera doesn't have, like live view. Um, but with me, I should film anyway most of the time. I, I don't need live view, but um, the quality of the image that it comes out are definitely of a very high standard. And if you want to get into full frame digital photography on a budget, um, this is definitely the one I would go for. Um, like, for example, if you don't even have old vintage lenses, that whole setup with the 50mm 1.8 only costs in and around less than £300. And you could get it even cheaper if you bought a second hand lens. Um, so, yeah, definitely worth buying in 2021. So, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video, give, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we will see you again on another episode. Bye guys.